the jet engine powers modern life by enabling fast, reliable, long-distance flight. They can cost up to $30 million each. At takeoff, a large engine will burn 60 gallons of fuel every minute. They can weigh more than 10,000 pounds and produce more than 100,000 pounds of thrust. Which is probably why it's best that the closest passengers get to these beasts is looking at them from the cabin. But in a very rare move, Delta allowed us to stand right next to one as it started up. No surprises, it's loud. It stinks of burning jet fuel. But the feeling of raw power is awe-inspiring. Engine tests are usually done behind closed doors in 10-meter cells. They're like bunkers. They have an air inlet at one end and a blast basket, an inverted cone, to calm the exhaust before it's vented. As far as the engine is concerned, I guess it's just it's, hanging on a wing. It's, it's, so as far as the engine is concerned, it's on wing. It it's, doesn't know any different. We have our control room, which is essentially like your cockpit and it's measuring everything that you would be measuring on wing, except for we go a little bit further because we're testing, so we put in additional test probes and pressure probes, and we're able to see that data that you're not able to see on wing. Engines need testing after they've been in for maintenance or rebuilding, which for Delta happens here at its Tech Ops facility in Atlanta. Technicians and engineers can dismantle and rebuild the many engine types that power the Delta fleet. Mechanics repair or service everything that needs it, down to the smallest part. And then the whole process runs in reverse. Each engine is in here for 50 to 80 days before being tested, bolted back onto the plane and sent off for flight. It's a big operation with a simple goal of keeping everyone up in the air. <laughs>